Another of the licenses that Fantasy Flight has been working with for the last few years is Games Workshop, and they released Fanta the Warhammer Fantasy role-playing game a little bit of time ago. Now this, The Enemy Within, is a rework from the masterwork that Graham Davis did a few years ago. We are not going to take a look at the adventure itself, we're just going to take a look at the components and see if the amount of money you have to pay for this is actually worth it. Welcome to the GMS Magazine unboxing videos. So Warhammer Fantasy role-playing game, one of my favorites, The Enemy Within, which the previous version, again written by Graham Davies, uh, has been hailed as being one of the, if not the, best adventure ever written for any game. That's up for you to decide. And since I don't have it, unfortunately, if you have it and don't want it, I do. Thank you. Anyway, let's open this. Before I open this, I'm going to tell you what's containing inside this box, uh, because it's quite a lot. It has, just to see what you what to expect, it has one campaign source book, 29 action cards, 29 creature cards, 6 item cards, 8 condition cards, 14 location cards, 9 clue cards, 6 background cards, 1 epic threat shit, uh, sheet, uh, 1 mark of trends card, or whatever, uh, 1 mark of slanish card, 2 map sheets, 24 stand-ups, 6 stance pieces, 4 GM handouts, 4 fatigue and stress tokens. A fair bit. Now this was not cheap. Uh, this retail for about £40, something like that, if I remember correctly. Uh, but it does contain an awful lot. Now whether the contents are worth the amount of money is a different matter altogether and we're going to find out right away. And the list is certainly impressive. Uh, it's fantasy flight. I, I'm not going to say how cool the artwork is because it is undeniably brilliant. So there you go. The box is too thin. It's just too thin. This thing this is not going to survive and I, I really dislike it when just by opening it already bending and, and getting creases. Look, I'm a perfectionist and I like to keep everything as pristine as possible. So. Fantasy Fly, get on to it. Thank you. Right. What have we got first and foremost? Tonstar. I'm going to put the box away, partly not to damage it any further, and partly so I have more space on the table. And I'm going to start with your ubiquitous catalogue from Fantasy Flight. You know, just in case you want have more money to spend, fair enough. And then we start getting little cards and tokens and things. Right, some character cards in here. This is actually very good. This is quite quite a thick card, which is nice that this is going to last a fair amount of time, which is excellent. Uh, all the information that you need is in the right place, which is great. The portrait is lovely. Handout of a map. On the one, it's just a map that you can show your players on the one side. Turn it around. Is it the same map? I don't, I don't think this is the same map. Yes, it is. But you have the locations, so you have to keep this away from your players. Another clue talk card in here. It's a handout. This is the corner enclosure. More handouts. More handouts. Very good. I really, seriously, I do like the thickness of the card. It's, it's thicker than a bet. than these cards, which is quite interesting and quite impressive. I like that. I wish they had done the same with everything, but fair enough. These are handouts that need to be resistant. So that's good, good quality indeed. The cards, as usually, nominated. 
terrific tokens, the wounds. Go, yeah, intoxicated or what have you. Yes. The marks of both sense. Who invents these names, Graham? Um, and the Slanesh. That's easier. And then more little cards with everything that's meant to happen in them. I like. And I like them because the, the layout is very easy to read. You know, it's the, the whole thing is, you know, it, it doesn't give you many room for mistakes or misinterpretation, which is something that is very, very important as far as I'm concerned. The rest of the cards, same material. So again, they are a little bit on the weak side, which is a pity, it really is a pity. You get your cards double sided with your weapon skills in the conservative stance and your aggressive stance, which is a fantastic mechanic of this game. I absolutely adore it. Everything is very clear. Everything is in its right place. I, I know not everybody likes the fact that Warhammer Fantasy relies so heavily in car, on, on cards to, to play the game. But I really, really do, because you can get rid of whatever it is without having to uh, take it away from a character sheet. So I find them very comfortable. Yes, they may take a little bit more space on the table and may take a little bit longer to set up when you're playing the game, but for me, to help them keep my character organized, it really helps a great deal. You, you're getting away from old skills and adding new ones. I, I like that quite a lot. There you have new creatures with, as usual, beautiful illustrations. They're so damn good. Oh. Being the sucker for artwork that I am, this matters a great amount to me because it gives me a much better idea as to the quality and the atmosphere of whatever it is I'm, I'm going to be doing. Hunky people, crazy people, evil people, more evil people, I'm guessing they look evil. Shady people, silly people, I don't know. And then, there you go. Oh. I mean, look at that. Who would not be scared of that? That's amazing. Oh, damn it, I want to play this now. <laughs> and then the locations. And with the locations, you get all the information that's meant to happen whenever it's meant to happen. It is terrific. I love it. I really like it. Your tokens, which I expect a great deal from. Uh, colorful, beautifully printed, thick as anything. Exactly what you will be expecting. Love them. You just have to love them. And the feedback in very nicely. That's not how they do it over there, by the way. This is just me. Stance tokens. Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. Oh, oh. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. This is, I'm sorry to say, highly disappointing. These are the maps, you know, in the box, which doesn't come with any stands either. Oh, okay, I don't like this. Um,
Right. This is these are meant to be two map sheets. That's how they are described. And you give me that? No. No, no, no. Seriously, guys, no. What the heck? No, these these are really disappointing. This work was going so well, so, so well. And you give me that? I expect better from a map. A, I expect it to be bigger, for goodness sakes, printed on the book, if that's what it takes. But don't give me this, this is nothing. Oh, seriously. Anyway, um, the book. The book is really thick, um, perfect bound. I don't know how many pages, let me take a look. 192, <laughs> whoa, okay, 192 pages, that's nice. Same illustration as in the cover of the book, or the, the box, which is good. Nice, nice. The layout is the same layout that they've been using for all the other books in the Warhammer Fantasy um, series. It is divided in several books, which is great. The illustrations are gorgeous. It is easy to read. Um, the first few pages, though, the binding is, is a bit too far out, so reading it is going to need you to move about a little bit, and it's, it's getting a bit too close to the edge of the center of the book, so it doesn't make it, a slight, make it a little bit difficult to read. It's not horrible, um, but it's just a little detail that um, hopefully should be avoided. It, it looks very nice indeed. I have to say, and it doesn't look all that intimidating. Yes, it, there's an awful lot of information in here, there's an awful lot of material. Um, it's good that some of the handouts have been replicated in the book. So there you go, that's the enemy within. I am extremely disappointed with that, and also very disappointed that I cannot find any stand-ups in the box. The stand-ups are missing, so how am I going to put my tokens on? Uh, yes, I could indeed use the ones that came in the original box, but if I am one of the people who bought the books, and I am as well, um, then I wouldn't have them. So this is something that uh, we'll have to contact um, the guys from Fantasy Flight and let them know, and since they will be able to see the video, they will realize that I'm actually telling the truth. Um, I am not going to say that these two things make the whole thing unworthy of purchase because I know the quality inside this and I know this because it's Grant Davies, another man, will be worth it. But seriously, this is absolutely appalling. This is a massive, massive letdown, really massive letdown. The rest is as absolutely Brilliant and fantastic as you would be expecting and demand from a company like Fantasy Flight. Do I regret buying this? Hell no. Absolutely no. But do I wish they had done something better than this rubbish? Hell yes. And if anything, because quite frankly the maps are lovely and they deserve a great deal better. So for that, four stars, because seriously... No. No. Other than that... Very well done, Fantasy Flight. Congratulations. Apart from that. <laughs>